Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to draw my cat, Miami. And luckily, I have Miami right here to join us in the video. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests to draw her, so that's what we're going to do today. So, I'm going to try to move the paper just a little bit out of her way, because she likes to lay on it. And we are going to draw it. Now, it's kind of hard to see her face, so maybe I can get her to look up here a little bit, but she is a cat, so she doesn't want to cooperate. But we want to start with her face. So, to draw her face, we just want to make some eyes. So, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a little circle like this for one eye. And then over here, I'm going to draw another circle for the other eye. Well, maybe she didn't like the way her eyes looked. Now, next we want to make the nose. So, starting right here, we just want to draw her little nose. So, I'm going to draw a little line that goes straight across. And then I'm going to make a line that goes down and then comes back up for a little V-shape. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw her cheeks. So, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to just draw a little line that just kind of curves down and up like this. And then, right over here, I'm going to make another line that just kind of curves down and up like that. And apparently she's back to help. Then, starting right here, I'm just going to make a little line that just kind of goes down and then back up for her chin. Now, starting right here, we want to draw her head. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve up to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to start up and then just kind of curve down. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and then it's going to come back down like this for the inside of the ear. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Just go up and then come down for the inside part of the ear. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up, and then it's going to come down like this, and then do the same thing over here for the outside part of the ear. Then I'm just going to draw a little line that goes straight across to connect the ears for the top of the head. Now, Miami doesn't wear a collar because she never goes outside. So, I'm just going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go in, and then it's going to come down like this. Then, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to kind of curve this way, and then it's just going to kind of go down, and I want it to be a lot wider because I'm going to show a little bit more of her body over here. Now, starting right here, I want to draw her front leg. So. I'm going to start here and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down like this. And then for her paw, I'm just going to draw a line that kind of goes, curves around. It's going to go over and then it's just going to kind of curve up like this for one of her paws. Then starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then down. It's going to come back around for her other paw. And then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down just to show where her body is. Then, if I can get her, her cat tail out of my face. Then, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve down for her back leg. And then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. It's going to come around like this. And then I'm just going to keep it kind of skinny because she has a thin tail and just curve it back to here. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down. And then I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve to here. It's going to kind of come around and then curve back up to here. Now, Right here on the feet, I'm just going to draw a couple little curved lines for some toes. And then I'm going to draw... 
sorry for the light, that was Miami. Then I'm going to draw another curved line right here for another toe. And then I'm going to draw a little line down here just to kind of show where there's some space for her other leg. Now, right up here we want to draw her pupils. So, she always has these kind of really tiny little thin slits for her pupils. So I'm going to draw a line that goes down and then comes back up like this. And then I'm going to add a little circle for reflection and then a line that just goes right up there. And then I'm just going to color in the rest of it. Then, same thing right here, draw a line that goes down, comes up. Draw a little circle, and then go back up, and then I'm just going to color in her little, little pupils right there. Now, one of the last things we want to do is we want to draw her whiskers. So, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a couple little lines that are just going to go out like this. And then a couple more over here, just like that. Now, Miami has lots and lots of spots on her. And her spots are kind of all over the place. So, I'm actually going to draw these in later, once I actually get all of the colors on here. But, there you go. There is a drawing of my cat. Miami. Now one thing I forgot is you can put a little curved line right here for this toe. But there you go. And she is still walking around here and here she comes to investigate it. I think she approves of it. So I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed.